Hey guys, what's going on? Ken Raider here for Raider Sports. How are we doing tonight? Bringing you the recap and my reactions and my thoughts to the Nationals 4-3 win over the Milwaukee Brewers in tonight's NL wildcard game. The Brewers, of course, did everything they had. To, I felt like they had to to come and win this game. They got the Max Scherzer early. They scored three runs in the first two innings. They had two runs before there was ever the first out. And that's really where Max Scherzer is the most vulnerable, is in the first couple of innings before he really sets into the game and really just becomes unhittable, which is kind of what happened. Scherzer gave up four hits in five innings, a few walks. But otherwise, he was Max Scherzer for, for the last three innings that he was in. And then... And then uh, Steven Strasburg came in and was just electric and lights out, which I was afraid because a lot of times, you know, you you put a starter in a bullpen role, that kind of goes haywire into the, in sideways, and it just doesn't work. And I felt like the Brewers did everything they had to up until the eighth inning. Because the moment I saw Josh Hader... Come in in the eighth inning, I knew that this was over. Because I have said it once and I will say it a thousand times. No closers in the eighth. You can see it, the sign's right here. No closers in the eighth inning. It is in a natural position for the closer to be in. The closer spends all season thinking about that ninth inning, coming in with the lead, shutting it down. Whether the lead is one, whether the lead is six. You put the closer in for the ninth. The eighth inning belongs to the setup guy. I Now, admittingly, I don't know much about the Brewers' bullpen. I don't know if they have a good setup guy. Like, I scream about this when, with, with the White Sox when they, at times, decide to pass on Bummer and bring in Colome. In the eighth inning and more times than not that doesn't work out but this seems to be a trend bucking the uh old system where the setup man comes in for the seventh and eighth and then break and then it leads on to the uh closer in the ninth so you would get like giolito bummer colome and this is just another form of that not working. So I wouldn't even blame Hader for blowing this game. Because I don't like closers in the 8th inning. And of course you can also say that the throwing error also led to the extra run that came in. That's but And, and you could say Hader walked the bases loaded. But it was not Hader's job. Hater's job is the ninth inning. He is the closer of that Brewers team. This is all on Craig Council. And they did exactly what they needed to. To put themselves in a position to win that game. This was just, once again, mismanagement of closers. And the slow death of the setup man. And it's a sad thing. There's a reason the setup man has been around for 100 years. And now, once again, we see... Teams bucking that 100-year system. I don't know if it's analytics or what. Or do you just want to get your best players out there? But in my opinion, when it comes to closers, less is definitely more. I'd like to see my closers in the ninth with a one-run lead. or And if they have to come in in the eighth, that's because that uh, setup man got stuck in, in a jam. And he comes out, he finishes the last out of the eighth inning, comes in in the ninth, shuts it down, preserves the win. Brewers would be going to L.A., but unfortunately that did not happen. Juan Soto hit a single, and then with the uh, throwing error, allowed th three runs in, and that was the, and that was all she wrote. Four to three, Nationals win. Strasburg came in, shut it Shut him down for the 6th, 7th, and 8th. And that was all she wrote. So, now the Nationals get to go play the Dodgers. 
in the NLDS and the Brewers are going home. Don't blame Hater, blame Council, because Hater never should have been in the eighth. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Ken Raider, and I am signing out. I will be back tomorrow with my predictions for the A's and the Rays, as long, along with the rest of my MLB playoff bracket. So stay tuned, guys. Thank you for watching.